Oh, hi, I'm Andre, Solution Engineer at PDFtron. In this video, we're going to go over how to integrate PDFtron's web viewer for PDF MS Office uh, for viewing and editing inside of an Angular app. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I have here right now, I have uh, just an Angular app running. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look here. It's running at localhost uh, 4200. Uh, there is nothing inside of it just yet. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually place PDF Trans Web Viewer inside of it. So to do that, I'm just going to stop my uh, PDF Tron um, app from running. And we're going to go ahead and install uh, PDF Tron Web Viewer by running npm i at PDF Tron slash Web Viewer. Awesome. And now we installed it. Let's go ahead and start back our app uh, by running the command ng serve and it's going to go ahead and compile. Now, inside of our Angular app, uh, we have appcomponent.html and appcomponent.ts. So inside of appcomponent.html, what we want to do is actually kind of specify where we're going to be placing uh, web viewer component into, or rather where we're going to be mounting it. So to do that, let's create a new div element. And so we can reference later on in our code. Uh, let's give it a ref element of viewer, and just so we can style it, let's give it a class of web viewer. And let's go ahead and kind of style it right away. So let's go ahead and reference the class we've just created, so web viewer, and let's give it a width of 100%, and same thing for height. And for height, I'm just gonna use a vertical height value. Okay, great. So that's all we got to do inside of our app component.html. And inside of our app component.ts, we're actually going to be implementing lifecycle component called after view init. So inside of after view init, uh, we want to go ahead and place our web viewer code. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and import uh, web viewer from newly installed npm module at pdftron web viewer. Okay, great. And inside of it, let's get actually the reference um, to the div element we just created in app component HTML. To do that, let's go ahead and reference the view child and the name that we gave it was the viewer and let's give it a name uh, viewer ref. So inside of it, we can go ahead and now call web viewer. Uh, so web viewer itself uh, takes options object and a viewer element. So let's go ahead and create our options object and let's take care of the viewer element. So the viewer element is going to be this dot uh, viewer ref dot native element. Okay. And inside of options, it takes in several options and you can check out the different APIs we have available for PDF Trans Web Viewer. But really, we wanted to give it ahead a property of path and I'll fill it in in the moment as well as uh, initial doc. So initial doc could really be a PDF or a Microsoft Office document. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find a URL that I wanna load. Alternatively, I can load any files from assets. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and load this document uh, from PDFtron S3 bucket. Okay, so for the path variable, uh, we want to kind of point it to the web viewer necessary assets. So to do that, let's go ahead and copy them over into the assets folder. Uh, so we're going to go ahead into uh, node modules. We're going to find at PDF Tron and go under public. There is actually a useful script we have in our GitHub example, uh, which you can find the link below in the YouTube video description. So from here, from public, let's actually go ahead and uh, copy the core and the UI. So we're just going to copy and let's place them in the assets. Uh, so inside of the assets, we go ahead and create a new folder called lib and pasted it in inside of it. Okay, now really we could have placed it pretty much anywhere. Uh, if you do place it in a different location than assets, just ensure that you actually have it available and declared under assets uh, for loading static resources. So back in app component, now we can go ahead and provide a path to it. So it's uh, one up 
and available inside of assets and inside of lib. Okay, great. Now, what this resolves to is a promise and it will provide us with an instance object, which then we can go ahead and call APIs on. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and see. Ah, and as we can see here, that we successfully placed PDF Transwebier inside of Angular. Now, there are several APIs available for us to go ahead and you know, customize the viewer, uh, place annotations, set up our users or roles and permissions. Just go ahead over to pdftron.com, uh, documentation web, where you can find all the different guides and samples we have available. Thanks so much for watching.